Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Eric Lamy, and I'm going to do another Bento Blitz today. I already have some challenges lined up, so I think I'm just going to start uh, right away. I accepted the first challenge, and I play against Zevic from uh, Spain. I'm going to go e4, c5, aggressive, knight of three, g6. Okay, let's uh, let's go h4 here. Yeah, I was hoping that would take my opponent out of book. H5, I think there's a bit of a weakness, right? Now I have this G5 square to uh, to uh, stick a knight on later. Um, I'm just going to go... What am I going to play here, actually? I'm going to go bishop c4. So my idea is to go maybe knight g5 later on. Try to attack on, uh, on f7. And the knight on g5 will be very hard to remove because f7, f6 is a very weakening uh, move, obviously. So I kind of like my position. Without the moves h4, h5 included, this wouldn't be very special, I think. But maybe now I can have some hopes for something. Um, let me play bishop f4. It would be great if I can go e5 next, maybe knight e4. Knight b5 is also an idea. Yeah, now I'm just, I think I should go e5. Just let's, let's go e5. Bit optimistic maybe, but why not? I want to go knight e4. And my opponent has to come with some, wow. I want to just say he has to come up with something good now, but this is really rough, the move f5. Um, what is this? Uh, let me reroute my knight. I could also go rook h3, rook, h, rook g3, but I want to stick a knight on f4 maybe, or go c3, d4 in the future. Yeah, I'll go bishop b3. I just realized now he has queen c7. That is very annoying actually. He starts attacking my e5 pawn. What am I supposed to do there? This could become a tough start of my uh, second Panther Blitz uh, on chess 24. Queen c7, what am I going to do here? Yeah, I really don't know yet. I'm just hoping it won't come. I'm just really hoping the move queen c7 won't come. Queen b6, okay, then I'm very happy. Because now I'll go, maybe even, ah, let me just go c3, just to make sure that e5 will never fall. Because now I'll always have d3, d4. Next up, I will maybe, um, I want to at least bring the knight to f4. Let me first castle. And I'll go rook e1. And bishop g3. And I want to go bring the knight to f4, which I think is a very pretty square. Yeah, now I really start liking my uh, position. Of course, this, this hole on g5, it's really uh, very serious. And I can already sense some uh, ideas, like I'm going to bring my knight to f4 now. And then maybe knight takes g6 becomes an option and queen takes h5 to sacrifice my way through. That's a move I should have considered and I didn't. Yeah, it's safe to say we have a bit of a bumpy start here. I'm missing something so far, but positionally speaking, we're doing very fine. It's normal. It's the first game. It's a bit tense. Safe to say that we're both a little bit nervous here. Zavis and me, we're kicking off this banter. Uh, but um, this is not good uh, because I think I can just take on g6 here. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. And after f4, um, I think I'll just drop back to h2, my bishop. And I don't think that black has much to show. Yeah, I'll drop back. h5 is still hanging here and bishop takes d5 is a threat. Because f4 will be hanging. He's also very low on time. So I have a feeling that this is going to be ours. 
for mine actually. I don't know whom you're rooting for. I hope you're rooting for me, but uh, there's of course not a given. Um, I think I can take here. It's a bit risky. I wouldn't do it normally. Bishop g2, I want to go queen g4. Double attack. Probably has to take on h5 now. I'll take back. Like I said, it was a bit uncalled for, but he lost some time. Okay, it was um, an interesting uh, start. Let's um, let's immediately go for the next one. Uh, and I was told once I have to scroll all the way down and play against crypto. The next one. I wonder if he's a fan of cryptocurrency or whatever it is, or maybe Kryptonite, famous uh, the famous Superman uh, uh, destroyer. Oh, G3 Knight C6. I'm going to play my old system with f5. I hope he didn't prepare. That would be disturbing. Knight of six. Basically playing a reverse Sicilian here. And I'm then playing some sort of Grand Prix attack or however way it is called. I just want to go castle. Then I'll go some d6, maybe f4, queen e8, queen h5. Yeah, let me just start out by going here. So queen e8, queen h5, f4, bishop h3. Those are the next uh, moves that ideally would lead to mate. Usually it doesn't lead to mate, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Um, is it time to take on c3? I think, um, I think I'll not do it yet. I'll play a5. After a3, I will take. Yeah, and now after queen takes... I have this idea of going a5, a4, and now I fix the pawn structure a little bit in a way that I like. Some long-term uh, thing. White would prefer to have the pawn on b4 here, but that's no longer possible because I will take it uh, en passant. So it's a small nuance here. I still think that uh, white is uh, maybe even slightly better, but once again, I would like to go queen e8, queen h5, and to give mate. So I'm, I think I'll just... Actually, this is a juicy square. I'm going to go there because e2 is hanging. It's actually very hard to meet the threat of knight takes e2. And yeah, knight e1 was a bit unfortunate, because queen d2, I have knight b3, picking up a full rook, actually, on a1. So this suddenly just lost out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm not going to give anything away here. This is a serious banter blitz here. I'm not going to give uh, any presents. Maybe king h1 is the only move, but that's, of course, a very sad one to make. Uh, bishop f3. Bishop f3 is actually a move I miss, but uh, that is, positionally speaking, that is extremely desirable for uh, for me. I'll just go queen e8. And after e3, I will chop off that uh, bishop on f3, and I will think that without a bishop on f3, I should be able to give mate. Now, yeah, this is exactly what I were speaking about before. I'll go queen h5. Maybe f4, knight g4, just start mating. Maybe I don't even need f4. Maybe I can go b6, bishop b7 as, as well here. Also looks nice. Yeah, especially after king g2. It looks. And I, let's see how he will meet b6, because I want to put the bishop on the long diagonal. Yeah, there are some very nice ideas here. Um, like after d4, I think I'll go bishop b7. And if he then tries to keep the position close, oh, uh, how is he going to meet bishop b7 now? I was expecting to move d4 and then to, for him to try and block the diagonal with the move d4, d5, and then I was going to go b5 and try to open the diagonal by force. But like this, it's not really needed anymore. I think this is just more or less uh, the end of it. And Zevich says, thanks for the game. Real pleasure. It, the pleasure was all uh, uh, mine. It was definitely not an easy game, that uh, that uh, first one. I felt a little bit uh, uncomfortable at some point. You definitely had fine uh, fine chances there. Yeah, e4. I think that won't help much. I'll take it. And after... Ah, knight g5, he plays. Um, can I force it here? Um, do I need to force it here? Uh, I will just take on on d3 with check. Cannot be that bad. Now I'll ask the knight where the knight wants to go. 
to e6 okay but is it gonna come out of there alive i i wonder and i also wonder shouldn't there, there should be some mate here there should be some mate right queen takes h4 g h rook h3 there is f3 still so that's not mate yeah it's a bit boring but i'm just gonna win the knight then sorry it's not very spectacular but uh yep yep that was it Thank you, crypto. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think the um, the um, yeah ninety four move. That was actually when things went uh, greatly out of hand. I will play uh, my next game against Chess Beast Austria. Chess Beast Austria. And he plays knight of three. What will I play? I'll play the move c five, giving him the option to play the Sicilian which he declines. Usually they do that when they go knight of three on move one. Uh, let me go g6 and bishop g7. People always look smart when they go knight h6 in this type of position. So let me just try to do that. Just stopping d4 forever. And there was some game once, probably not exactly like this between Carlsen and uh, McShane. Where I think Carlson also played knight six or five. Let me try and push h five h four. Let me just try to push h five h four here. So it's a little bit similar to the previous game that we saw. I want to go maybe h g at some point, stick a knight on d four, and try to attack uh, the uh, the king by going with maybe bishop h three, bring my queen around. Yeah, let me start with knight four. I think I, I don't yet want to determine. The placement of my um, of my pawn. I don't yet want to make take on g3. I think knight takes h4, which I actually didn't consider at all. Is maybe a good move. Um, yeah, it's maybe a good move. Simply knight takes h4. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken on uh, on g3 first. On the other hand, I'm gaining valuable time here. I'm half a minute up on the clock already. That's also worth something. Yeah, he is taking. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, I missed that one. Sometimes the easiest moves are the most difficult one, but uh, there are still some ideas in the position left. I have an H, H, uh, have an H file that I can work with. And this is already giving me a shot, I think, many options here. I have rook takes H5. Okay, knight takes G3 is obviously the main move to consider because it's a full pawn, but uh, can I do something more? Rook H4, G H. Knight of three, king h1. Yeah, probably not. Huh? Let me do it anyway. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. If he takes on d4, I'll take back with the rook, and that, that should be great. If he takes on h4, I will give a check on f3. And if the king h1, I want to go knight takes d3. Because I don't think I can go queen d7. I don't have the time. Do I have the time for queen d7 here? Queen d7. d4. No, probably not. No, probably have to be realistic. Queen d7. Because I want to go queen d7, queen g4, queen takes h4, and to give mate. But it seems a bit... The whole thing is very far-fetched what I'm doing here. But like I said, we're having a good time. If queen d1, which I'm expecting, then I think um, I will just take one h4. I have a couple of pawns, or just one maybe. Just one pawn. I'll take here. And that's active position. His king is a bit weakened. I actually think it's decent compensation. It was not at all necessary. Knight takes d3 was probably the, the right move, but I uh, kind of like this. Yeah, um, we'll take on g2 here. Just make that king a little bit weaker and go queen d7 or what shall we do? Bishop f5 is also a move. Yeah, let's let's just bring the... Um, no, I'll go queen d7. I like queen d7 actually, yeah. And after queen f3, I think I'll just go b6. Um, I have to think about knight takes d6, but that's I will see it when 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 it happens. 
I'm sure it's fine after knight takes d6. Ed, queen takes a8. Now I have to make some move like king e7 probably. Yeah, no, this should be fine for me. I'll go here first. And after e4, I'll go knight e5. This is so pretty. What a pretty position. Yeah, this is looking good. Now something like um, knight takes e4, is more bishop f6. So many options. I'll go. I'll go bishop f6. Now I want to go castle queenside, rook h8, and just give mate. Yeah, I'll just castle. I just I'm not even gonna calculate any. There was probably some direct thing connected with. Ooh, there. Uh, yeah, I'll go rook h8 now. All the pieces nicely working together. Yeah, and this is already tactically winning now. After queen g5, I have knight f3. That's uh, that's the game. Yeah, was a nice game. I, I enjoyed it. Was a nice one. Um, let's uh, let's move on to Rian Shah. And I'll go e4 again. Best by test, as Fischer once uh, once said. How did it feel to beat Fabi? And what was your thinking behind G4? What a nice question. I can already tell you, uh, chat, you can ask me any question on that game. I can talk about it all day uh, long. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, without kidding. Uh, G4, uh, um, for people who don't know that uh, game or move, I, I played against Caruana now in the Bundesliga and was fortunate to win. Trust me, it won't happen uh, often again. So I'm, I'm just taking this one and uh, enjoying it for now. Um, I just felt that g4 was the most principled move and that's why i went with, with it but um uh computers had something to say about it obviously but uh, i felt i i, I tried to just play uh, the game and not uh, uh be too intimidated by uh, uh my opponent which of course happens always in the end but uh um yeah just um one of those days where things uh, really fell into place. I have no idea in the meantime what I'm doing here. I played the King's Gambit. And uh, Rian Shah, he came prepared, clearly, for the King's Gambit. Um, but I'm, I feel like I'm still fighting here. I'm hoping that I get to castle kingside. Uh, and then go bishop d3 and kick away the queen, then win back to f. Yeah, I actually like my position right now. I think if the bishop d3 next. Uh, I'll take one f4, then I'll go, I don't know, start the attack. But... Uh, that's probably a good move. Uh, stops my plan of going bishop d3. Um, so what do I do? I'll go knight e5 here. Yeah, I'll go knight e5. I think that's a fine move. Threatens bishop f3, which is a nasty threat because... Uh, he can save the queen still with queen c2, but then at least on b7, uh, something will be hanging in the end. Uh, it also threatens rook takes f4. Yeah, I still think that I have a very nice position here. Yeah. Your technique against Fabi was awesome. All engine moves at the end. It was scared move for... Yeah, well, uh, let me tell you that uh, um, it didn't feel like that at all during the game. I mean, to me... Uh, um, I mean, you know, of course, that these guys are much stronger than 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 you are than than, than I am. But I really felt it towards the end. He was, to my mind, he was defending so tough. It was. Uh, I had already. I mean, I had not counted. Oh, actually, I oh, could have taken a full piece. You know, I shouldn't talk too much. Uh, I had already thought that I was gonna win the game a long time uh, before it actually happened. But he was constantly finding uh, moves. And of course, when you look with the engine. It looks like it was all easy, but it was it really, it took a lot of me. Actually, it says enough that from the next three games I played in Bundesliga, I made just half point. I was just exhausted after this game. I was just unable to uh, to do anything serious after after that game against uh, Caruana. Uh, so, yeah, no, it's definitely, um, there was a uh, very interesting experience and... Uh, uh, even winning it, I realized that this guy's, uh, I mean, we spoke a bit afterwards. He was, by the way, a real gentleman uh, afterwards. I mean, you, you could easily imagine a top player storming off after such a game, but he we actually spoke for 15 minutes and um, he was showing me all kinds of lines that I, I wasn't even close to finding uh, my, myself. So uh, 
in that sense, that was very interesting to uh, to see just what the things he had seen. I mean, was amazing. Uh, actually, uh, the calculation power there was uh, extremely uh, impressive. So yeah, it's like I said, it was one of those games where things fell into place. But uh, uh, yeah, these guys are they are incredibly strong. So it makes me only extra happy with that it that I succeeded once in uh, in beating one of those giants. Congrats for the Karakons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have this Karakon uh, course. I, would, I am very bad at plugging my... Uh, at the same as uh, we spoke about it with, uh, with Jan Gustafsson. He has his E45 course, and uh, yeah, we are a bit reluctant to plug the, our own uh, things. Well, it, feels a bit, it feels a bit wrong somehow, but uh, then we made this deal that I was going to plug his course and he was going to plug my course. Because it's much easier to talk about someone else's course, and his work is really good, by the way. He's really uh, that's without um, without any irony there. It's a fantastic course. He's of course a real uh, opening uh, addict, and it shows in his. Uh, oh, what is what is this? Um, ah, okay, sorry. Yeah, that's, it's all good. It's all good. No, no worries. Yeah, uh, he's of course a real opening expert, and it 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 really shines through his uh, his course. It's um, amazing depth. So I have, and I have a score. Actually, it's not like I'm talking uh, out of my head here. Yeah, I think I'm managing this. I mean, I understand you want to enjoy every moment of this game, Rian Shah, but it's gonna be made in two more moves. Rook g8, and yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's uh, see the next one. Batman 2017. That's uh, that's a scary name. I'll stick with e4. How do you face losses? I've asked this question to many players. I want to know your opinion. How do you face losses? I never had such a big problem with facing them, to be honest. Um, I'll go, mm, what do I do? I'll go D4 here. Uh, I never had such a big uh, deal uh, facing uh, uh, losses. No, I'm not that competitive, uh, actually. So I'll let you in on a big secret here. And that, uh, that has its pros and its cons. Probably it means you don't really extract the most from your games, but it also makes things a little bit easier uh, when they don't go your way. This is, by the way, a line I used to play as a kid all, all the time, and it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, it's a blitz game. So I think it's worth a shot. Uh, one line is like f5, then I'll go knight g5, c takes b2, knight takes e4, b takes a1, knight f6, mate. I remember that, that really... Uh, I found that a very interesting uh, line when I was a kid. Blackwood had also had other moves besides taking on c3, but this is this is also fine. I think that uh, bishop e6 is the move here. And then I don't have rook takes e4 because he has knight e7. And then I'm, I'm losing a piece. So I'll have to take with the bishop on e4, and then he can exchange queens, and he's completely fine in the endgame. Uh, but having said that, I already have 50 seconds gained. With this, oh, he found it. Excellent, excellent, very good. That's very good. Wow, he found all the moves. Yeah, and yeah, this is exactly how to play it. And now I'm essentially uh, playing a very uh, awkward uh, endgame. So it's safe to say that this was um, this one didn't really work out. But I'm gonna fight after knight takes. I'll take with the bishop. B7 is a little bit soft. And I'm hoping that with some activity, I can uh, equalize and maybe more towards the end. B7 is hanging now. If he castles, I can maybe take on A7. Yeah, but it's not pretty. It's not pretty yet. Now I think I can just take on A7 without any worries. Yeah, but this is how things turn bad suddenly fast. Yeah, so my opponent, he played it very well initially. Uh, I was thinking I'm going to scare him with this uh, peace sacrifice, but he reacted very well. It's just that his last two moves, I think, um, yeah, it's suddenly collapsed now. He probably missed rook b7, probably thought that I have to retreat with the bishop and then, uh, uh, or maybe he missed bishop takes a7. In any case, yeah. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate because initially, uh, Batman 2017, he reacted very well. Um, we are continuing uh, uh, um, with the three, Mr. Nydorf or, yeah, Mr. Nydorf. 
is next. I see a challenge from Teja Ravi, but he challenged me in five minutes. I'm playing only three minutes today. So just a heads up for everyone who's challenging me. I'm playing only uh, three minutes today. Uh, yeah, I'll play the Kojo. That was actually quite fun. So I just had beaten um, uh, Karwan in the Bundesliga. And then I played my next game against uh, Niklas Huschenbet, very strong uh, German grandmaster. I played the Kozio, and I got a winning position after seven moves, and I was nicely in book. It was all perfect. And then I actually mixed up uh, my preparation and got immediately into a lost position. That was one of, uh, one of those things. Here, I think D5, I can go A6. I hope so, at least. And if the bishop a4 to go b5, Mr. Knight of I see now suddenly has a rating of 2700. So uh, that is actually pretty uh, serious. That is a pretty serious rating. That's sorry, pretty. Uh... Yeah, I'll have to focus. Well, not that I wasn't focused before, obviously, but. Uh... Why is your software in Spanish? Are you asking me? Um, my software is definitely not in Spanish. But the producer is Spanish of this show. So if you see something in Spanish, then probably it is because of the producer. I don't speak Spanish. I don't. Uh, yeah, I just I definitely wouldn't do anything in Spanish. No. Uh, probably it's the what you see. The interface is from the producer. That's what I'm assuming, at least. Um, I'm gonna go g5 here, which is probably a lousy move, but I hope to be able to back it up with knight g6 and etc. I don't like the move at all, but um, yeah, sometimes you gotta do something to mix the game up. Um, I'll first go b5 and for bishop c2, I'm gonna go knight g6. There is some potential here. But also for white, because uh, with g5, I severely weakened my uh, light squares. And it's, of course, possible that I'm going to uh, regret that at some point. It's highly possible that I'm going to regret that. I actually regret it already. So there you go. I'll go 97 here. I really regret going. Uh... But yeah, I did it. So now I have to man up. He takes, okay. Slightly surprising to me, but it's maybe a good decision. I don't know. I'll go knight g6 now. Yeah, it could be that this suddenly works out with him if he gets some g3 in at the right moment, but kind of like, kind of like, oh, but this surprises me greatly. And I'm pretty sure it's not a good move, knight g7. That was my problem piece. And to get rid of it is, um, it's an achievement. Okay, he gets the queens off, but I don't really mind that. I think I have some small uh, something to work with on the uh, on the king side. So do I go bishop e6 here or bishop b7? Uh, I think I want to keep the bishops on, so I'll, I'll go bishop b7. As in, like bishop e6, there is bishop uh, b3, potentially. Um, could be really uh, overestimating my position here. By the way, that is a big possibility. There's a big possibility because I suddenly see that this knight b3, knight a5 is a very strong idea of his. I completely missed that. Very strong idea. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, that is very strong. And then I'm really not uh, better at all. Um, no, I'm really not better at all. I have to go bishop c8 even. Yeah. Yeah, it's what it is. I'm not better here at all. Okay, I'm gonna go CD. It's the, by far uh, the most um, aggressive option. I'll go bishop b7 again. I'll go knight e7. And I wanna go some f5 at some point. That would be great, yeah? To go f5 to bring down that center forward. a4, I'll take it. Yeah, can I go f5? Let me just fix first h5. Also have to speed up a bit because I am notoriously slow. 
oh, but this is a bad move. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but this is definitely a bad move. Um, and I'm going to prove that. Or at least that's the plan. Uh, or I don't. I'm simply not proving that at all, even. Ay, ay, ay. That is uh, ugly. That is ugly. Still some chances. Still some chances. Even maybe big chances, practically speaking. Yeah, there's some chances. Yeah, I have definite chances here. Uh, I'll go to F2. Yeah, it's lost already. Yeah, that's how it can go. Whew. That was uh, that was not easy. Oh, actually, he's still making moves. I didn't realize that. And I'm slow, so. Ah, okay. Yep. Um, what was that? Yeah, that was not a clear game. That was definitely not a clear game. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's a strong player. Uh, clear. Um, I'll continue with Kramnik student. If it's Kramnik student, then probably he will go d4. E4, though. Okay, Kromnik also played E4 towards the end of his career. So I guess that is um, that is the power of... Yeah, the power of the king. Yeah, that is... Uh, thank you. That is indeed true. The Panov. The Panov. Okay. Let me um, go G6 here. I'm deviating for my own course. That is a tricky thing to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'll go knight c6. This is a very ambitious way to play with uh, black. In the course, I took the, um, yeah, how do you call it? More professional uh, approach uh, by going um, for knight f6 and knight c6. But g6 is, of course, a uh, very aggressive way. And I think I'm okay here. I think I'm quite okay. I will um, at some point take on C4. Let, let me actually do it here. Why not? And if the bishop C4, I can consider taking on D4, but that's not so convincing, probably. So what I do if the bishop takes C4, maybe I will just go knight B4, stick a knight on D5. Hey, because knight D4, he goes bishop F7, right? Rook of seven, queen d4. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, we might see another endgame. I have a feeling, uh, yeah, I'm giving an endgame alert. What is your favorite opening as white and black? Asks Dangerous Right. Um, good question. Queen takes g4 is a good move, but I think bishop takes 7 had to be played. Um, my favorite opening for white and black, it's very hard to say. It really depends on, uh, um, I mean, sometimes I have a feeling that I found the opening that I'm going to play forever for the rest of my life. And then a few weeks later, I something else becomes interesting and... Uh, I never really stick to one open. I, I don't understand these people who play one opening their entire life. I mean, yeah, it seems to me, um, I mean, boring is not the word, but it's, it's. I mean, there's so much to play somehow. And um, right now I'm um, I'm playing, for instance, D4 and E4. I have to think here a bit because my rook is hanging on D4. I will continue answering that question, but the rook is on D4 hanging and the bishop on B7 is hanging. I'm a piece up for now. If the rook d7, he goes bishop takes f6. He wins back the piece. So, uh, but I have a feeling that this isn't working. I can go knight d5. I can go knight d5. Is that the end of the line? Bishop takes g7. It's not the end of the line. Wow, is this working? This really be working? That's really. I mean, I'm better in any case. Also, even if the rookie eight, I'm better. But which I'll probably make in the end. But I'm I'm surprised that this could really work. Very surprised that this could work. Yeah, shocking actually. Okay, I'll go rookie eight. Just, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something here. 
I'm pretty sure I'm missing something here, but I don't see it. So I have to make a move at some point. I spent, oh, a minute. Yeah, I spent a minute on this. Yeah, he will take here. I'll go to D2. And um, yeah, I'm doing well here, but uh, I'm not winning yet. I'm definitely not winning yet. Yeah, now I want to go bishop d4, attack on f2. I mean, those bishops are really good. They are really strong. Um, but yeah, I'm not winning yet. Let's, uh... Yeah, now let me try to restrict the bishop, the knight, I mean, on c3. This is an ugly position for, uh, for white. He almost cannot move. Huh? Makes it very uh, ugly. Yeah, knight b1, but yeah, that's not a very happy move either. There's just no move to make, basically. I'll just slowly improve the position. King g7, h5, a5, b5. I can also take on b2, but there's no rush. Bishop is such a beautiful piece on the, yeah, I, I think I'll just go king g7. Because he has no moves to make here. It's too early to cash in with bishop takes c3. Can do it later. It's just nothing to play here. Knight d1 doesn't really improve the position either. I'll just go h5 or f5. Yeah, I think I'll go maybe f5. Ah, he wants to go knight d3 maybe, yeah? No, that doesn't work. So, yeah, I'll go f5, f4, just further rest restrict him. Uh, yeah, now I'll go g5. Yeah, it's just very hard to make a move with uh, ah, f2. Yeah, now I can take on f3, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was actually uh, quite surprising how bad the end game actually uh, uh, was. I mean, it was clear that white was better, black was better, but um, yeah, the just how much black was better was uh, was a bit surprising to me as well. Yeah, thanks for the game, uh, Kramnik student. D4, uh, I'll play the Dutch defense, given that I am some uh, right now playing this mentor from uh, this country. Seems fitting. Yeah, bishop g5 is a very fashionable way of uh, playing against the uh, Dutch. I've seen this happening uh, more often lately. Uh, e4, I think I'll take it. And go d5, but, or knight of, I'll go d5, but I'm, I'm a bit out of, uh, out of book here. That's a good thing about the Dutch though. It's this type of opening where you can just play sort of. I mean, we all know it's not a great opening, but it's not that bad either. And it gives a lot of room for uh, creative effort. Um, Knight C6, I'll go. Probably not a good move because yeah, C5, it's nice to get uh, C5 in sometimes. I'll put the Knight on H6. Because that seems to be the theme today. And maybe I'll go knight of seven later, kick the bishop away, and then try to go e5 in one go. Uh, I'm not yet too happy with my position, but uh, I'm hoping that, uh, that that will come. Bishop will go to g4 at some point. I will castle king side. And um, yeah, just giving you my uh, plan. Um, got worried that I misread. Yeah, chronic uh, students uh, talking about the previous game. Um, yeah, I thought you had to take on f7 in, in between, and I thought that was actually quite a playable position. After you took on d4, I uh, um, took back on d4, and then I think you had this in between move for bishop takes f7. Uh, would have been interesting. It would be interesting to see how that uh, how that would be. I think bishop g4 is pretty annoying to face for uh, white because now d4 is hanging. Yeah, and this is where mm, knight of seven feels a decent move. Yeah, I'll go knight of seven. Yeah. And now I want to go e5 next. Break up uh, the center. I'm not sure anymore about castling kingside, by the way. I might actually go queen d6 and maybe bring the king to the other side. May actually do that. Okay, um, that's a good move. That's a good move. I missed that one. Um, because if the knight takes g5, he just takes back with the knight now. Okay, so I'll just uh, leave it for now. 
and I'll go castles queen side and prepare the move e5 anyway. Yeah, castle. Now I cannot go e5 straight away because his bishop is still on. Uh, so I have to either take it or to. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. It's uh, it's an interesting position, by the way, from a strategic viewpoint. We're both trying to uh, achieve our aims here. I'm also playing with the idea of going h6 next. Ah, he even goes himself already. It means he probably wants to go knight g5. How to play here? Yeah, interesting. Hmm. I'm a bit stuck. Uh, I'll go king b8. When you don't know it, just make a king move. Always looks smart. Um, hmm. Yeah, he's playing very well. There's uh, nothing I can say. I'll go bishop f6 and I'll take back the pawn if he takes it. And I'll be ready to go g5 sometimes. Yeah, I'm very uh, impressed with the way uh, Lubian is uh, is Lapjean. I don't know how to uh, pronounce it, but oh, I jinxed him. I jinxed him. I jinxed him. That's uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a very nice game. What can I say? There were many options. He could he could have gone ninety five, and yeah, and then suddenly the game ends. Assuming that I know how to. Uh, win the piece up. I think I'm going to manage here. Yeah, it was a pity. Uh, truly a pity. Because, yeah, like I said, with an extra piece, I am really uh, very confident that I'll manage as long as I don't plunder anything. Uh, anything. Maybe I'll get my E5 break in, finally. Yeah, let me just exchange and get my E5 break in. Just so thematic. Wow, he's really going for it. Uh, okay, let's. Uh... Yep. Okay, thank you, Luke John, for the game. Uh, let me see. Jinko Biloba is up next. Jinko Biloba, it is your move. I'm hoping you're here, otherwise I'll have to abort the game. I'll give you a few seconds. Let me see if any questions come in. Erin will flag this guy. Mm, yeah, I uh, I guess that this is a fair thing uh, to say. Though I, I was a piece up towards the end, but uh, I think I uh, you're right in the sense that I had half a minute extra. Most of the time. Yeah, I'll abort this one, guys. Uh, sorry, Jinko Biloba, you uh, took a little bit too long. To accept the challenge. Um, I will play next against Elena Nomaluva. Elena Nomaluva, okay. And I'm assuming uh, it's a, yeah, I think it's a she, right? Yeah, so I think uh, she plays the French defense. Oh, it's very theoretical. Oh my God, that's really not what I was uh, what I was ready for. But okay, I guess I have no no choice. Ooh, uh, how does this go? I think they'll go here. Absolutely clueless here. Wow. Uh, there was something here, like you have to go to b3 first, I think. Whew, this is embarrassing. What was it? Yeah, I think it was here. Queen e7? Yeah, wow, I, me I remember it. I'm shocked. Okay, this is clearly going to become a difficult game because uh, my opponent is blitzing out everything. So scary. 
I'll go to B1. I'm just trying to make natural moves here. I don't know. Probably this is all, all big theory, actually. And uh, I'm sure this has all been worked out. I wanted to go knight e2, but I see now that it's not so well. Anyway, I'm going for it anyway. Bishop b5 is maybe a move here. Would be nice to get a knight onto d4. Yeah, let me just stick a knight on d4. I mean, there is some potential in this type of positions, but uh, computer is always saying that this is completely fine. That's, that's all I know. Um, I'll offer an exchange of rooks. Is that a good idea? Let me do it anyway. Queen c7, yeah, yeah, that's normal. Um, how do they play these kind of things? It's really difficult. Uh, I'll go h4. h4, yeah, I'll go h4. Why, why not? Could always prove uh, useful in the end when the pawn suddenly reaches h6. It can also become a uh, weakness, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, so fast also, my opponent. So scary. Uh, queen d3. I'll go queen d3. Rook c3 is a good move, I guess. I'll take on a6 and some queen d8. Yeah. Well... Well, we'll see. This one even. Okay, ambitious. Um, good move. I'll have to take. Yeah, I'm going to speed up a bit. I'm going to go... Uh, I think I will sacrifice a pawn here. Yeah, not because I want to, but I think because I must. Um... Yeah, I'm really not doing this well. I'll go here. And I'll go F5. Yeah, this is not, uh, not simple. And I'm slow. Okay, I'll go F6 at least. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to speed up. We could see history in the making here, uh, people. This could be my very first loss in the Banter Blitz uh, sessions. I'm not sure how big that uh, is of a history mark, but uh, yeah, it didn't happen yet. And this is, oh, wow, flashy. Just going to ignore it. Um, I'll take on G7. And I'll take here. Okay. Um, at least I'm doing this fast now. Oh, why did you resign? Bishop h7. Oh, that's really a pity. I think the game just, I mean, I think we just started, right? Bishop h7. I really don't think that I'm winning at all yet. Uh, well, I think it's interesting now, but uh, pity, pity. I think that, that uh, was definitely not yet resignable. Um, but uh, yeah, what, what, what can I say? Arthur Blair is uh, up next. Um, I will go C5. I'll go knight C6. Bishop C4, okay, I'll go E6. D3, okay. Um, I'll go knight e7. Play on the dark squares. I'll go a6. Um, yeah, what am I planning here? Haven't really thought about it yet. Just gonna play natural moves. Bishop e3, bishop e7 is a thing. Oh, but it's really very optimistic. 
that is very optimistic. And I don't think that's gonna bring much. There are positions where two pawns can sometimes be enough for a piece. For instance, when you, um, for instance, if I would now remove the pawns on h2 and g2 for white, and I would throw some pieces towards that king, but this is not a position where two pawns even closely compensate for uh, for a piece. Basically, it's a completely winning position for uh, for black already. Um, yeah, I do have to still prove it though, and I already have one pawn back, so that is that is nice. If bishop g7, I can take on f3 in between. If I, I don't take back because of queen d4 check, and he wins, uh, he won back his pawn. Um, here, though, I'll just draw back. Yeah, and those pawns on the queen side, they're just not going to go anywhere. It's just not going to... It's not that type of game. Yeah, you should have just uh, retreated the bishop to b3, and uh, we would have a normal position. Probably black was fine, but not like... Uh, I mean, nothing nothing uh, out, of, out of the ordinary uh, yet. Now I just want to go e5, maybe f5. Shouldn't blunder the b7 bishop, though, with queen b3 check if I go e5 and f5. But uh, apart from that, that seems like a decent plan. I'll start with e5, I think. Then I make sure that I don't blunder anything. I'll probably go queen c8 after bishop e3, because f5 is queen b3 check. <coughs> I'll go f5 now. And yeah, it's a free attack. Magnus, he made this course on uh, attacking without sacrificing anything. Well, this is an example of attacking while being a piece up. And I can tell you, um, no course has ever been made on that, but you've seen it here first. And it's, I think it's the most pleasant thing there is, attacking with an extra piece. No pressure. If you don't mate, you just retreat and you're next, your piece up. I think um, from all the options available, that one I like most. I threatening mate in one, mate in one alert. Knight of one only move or knight g4 to prevent the mate on g3. Yep, he saw that one. Um, let me then go bishop a6 to try to eliminate that uh, that piece. Yeah, the, the game lost a bit of its intrigue the moment, of course, uh, the piece uh, went off, but uh, I don't know. These things can still uh, be interesting to see, I think. Uh, I'll go bishop h4. Just start attacking from all the sides. Could have gone bishop of one already. Um, but uh, do I go to f2 here? Nah, I'll go to c4. Actually, missed rook e4, but I'll go queen d3 or something. Queen f1. Queen f1, actually. Rook e4, queen f1 wins the house. Yeah, he resigned. Yeah, no, uh, that, that piece sacrifice. Uh, was a bit too much, uh, I believe. Um, next, I'm playing Ronan B. Ronan B. Knight f3, I'll go c5. c4, knight c6. And g6. Ah, we're gonna get that type of game again. Yeah, I'll go knight a6 again. I liked it. Generally, I try to play some different things, but I like this plan, h5, h4. Let's see how, how Ronan responds to it. My previous opponent, he had some tough time uh, dealing with this uh, idea. Let's see if Ronan manages. And this time I will do the right thing. And uh, actually, I don't need to exchange on, uh, I don't need to do anything yet. I'll just go d6. Queen c2 is a bit weird because um, I'll go knight d4 with, with tempo now. And yeah, there was really no need to put it on uh, on c2 just yet. Really no need yet. Yeah, now I can take on uh, g3. Okay. 
And after hg, I'll go bishop h3 probably. He goes fg, yeah. That is, on the one hand, understandable. On the other hand, it's, of course, a real weakening of the king and the entire structure around the king. Now, bishop d4 check is a big threat. King h1, knight h3 is already made. So uh, I think I would still have tried to go hg just to... Uh, yeah, to at least uh, keep the, the, the structure uh, in place. Now it's just going to be bad regardless. I don't have to prove anything anymore now. Um, yeah, I'll go rook b8, I think. Now I think you should go b4. Yeah, I'll go b6. And I want to go bishop b7, maybe e6 at some point. Bishop b2 is not possible because I will take... And uh, yeah, that's why he goes queen e2. Because e3 would have been hanging in the end after bishop b2, exchanging and going e6. So he first plays there. It's all very normal what we're doing. Um, it's all very normal. I'm looking at a way to try and uh, get some imbalance in the position. Um, I will take on b2, which is maybe debatable. Well, surely debatable, I think. I'll even take here, which is surely debatable. Maybe it's even outright bad because of c takes d5, but uh, I wanted to play this one and to go queen g5 to try and see if this... Uh, it was a very debatable decision I made. Yeah, now I'll go king g7, then rook h8. And this already starts to look nice. Very often, actually, good technique to... Uh, to look for imbalances in the position. I mean, we have equal material, but because I have a knight, he has a bishop, it actually uh, uh, becomes like a position with different material. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, that makes it basically very easy to play for a win. Uh, I'll exchange queens. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm okay with that. If EF, I'll have a beautiful square on d4 forever. So I think he'll take with the G pawn. Yeah, he does. Um, how to proceed here? How to do this? Hmm. I'll start with King F6 because I don't really know it yet. I don't really know it yet what to do. Oh, but ah, A5. He takes and goes rook b5. Okay. Uh, I'm going to double. I don't know what to do. I'm going to double on the h file. If he takes on c5, which is a good move now, I'll go. I'll have to go dc. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm doing this uh, the right way, but well, I'll go rook h8. h3 is a bit of a weakness, so that's uh, at least a good thing to uh, provoke. I'll go rook d8. Now d3 is hanging, so he has no time to win anything. I'll go rook d6 now. And I'm hoping I'm still okay here, because he also has some weaknesses. Yeah, e3. Oh, I think he missed this one. That's a very juicy pawn, because everything falls now. Like, his whole structure is just collapsing. And a piece. Yeah, then it's... Uh, that's the end of it. Yeah, it was interesting. It was interesting from a strategic uh, viewpoint. Not sure I did that uh, greatly. Um, let's see the next one. Priyanshu, 1502, is up next. That depends, of course, if he makes a move. I see, yeah, yeah, you didn't see Bishop, yeah, uh, uh, I got a confirmation, my opponent from a uh, few games ago, uh, that that uh, was, I think, the closest game I had so far, uh, this um, this banter, the one where um, Bishop H7 was missed in the final position. I think that was completely unclear, uh, uh, would have been nice to continue that game with crazy time trouble incoming. Um, What's this line? Ah, this one I know. This is called the Nachmanson. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna 
am I going to allow? Okay, the thing is, you can play knight takes c3, b takes c3, bishop e7, and you're just a pawn up. But I just want to show my opponent uh, that I that I'm ready to to play like 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 a man. I'm ready for it. But this is crazy, of course. I mean, I would never do this in a real game. Never ever. Never ever would I do this. Yeah. Um, what do I do here? Ninety-seven, maybe, or def def. Why did I do this? Actually, is a big mystery. Um, wow, this is really tough. Go bishop seven. Why did I do this? I'm expecting bishop g five check, king f seven. Maybe I should have gone ninety seven actually. But bishop g five, king f seven, and some queen d five check. Or I'll let him think about it. But I was actually expecting him to do this very fast because this should be the the big trick that White is playing for. I think. When you play the Nachmanson, uh, yeah, I'll go King G6 now, and I think I have it covered. There's no check on E5, there's no check on H4, and well, yeah, but that is not a big deal, I think. Um, can I go D5 just developing? Yeah, now there's not even a serious check anymore with the queen even. Queen g3, king f7. I think I could be just winning now. It does the thing, of course, when you are sacrificing a piece like this. Oh, I may have been talking too fast. Rook takes e7 is a move here. Uh-oh. Rook e7, queen e7, knight h4, king h5, only move. Okay, luckily he didn't, but that would be very interesting to see if that was actually a good option. Right now, I'm actually 100% sure that it's just winning. That would have been nice to see. And maybe chat can confirm if I was losing after rookie seven or if before something was happening that uh, I didn't uh, didn't see. That would be very interesting to, to, to know. Um, after b4, I'll go bishop f5. Yeah, and at some point, an extra piece is an extra piece. Queen d7, rook e8, my king is perfectly safe on a seven. Like I said, queen d7, rook e8, d4, yeah. Uh, do I even care about the c I'm not even gonna care, I think, about the... Uh, no, I'm not gonna care about the c7 pawn. Can take it. I'll go rook e8. Then I have all my pieces uh, working and uh, that should be it. Yeah, fun game. Um, like I said, after knight c3, the most practical decision is to just take that knight uh, with the knight, actually, just to play knight takes c3. Um, but uh, as it happened, uh, it was fun, of course. But I'm curious if after bishop e7, how, how the objective evaluation is. Uh, I'll go to e8 now. Rook d4, I have queen d4. That would be a nice uh, way to end things because of the back rank uh, issues. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, my opponent resigned. Yeah, thank you for the game, uh, Priyanshu. Fun opening that you chose. I always like uh, such challenges. Um, let me see. I think I played that person already, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go here. Maybe three seven. Maybe three seven. What's it? Oh wow! Thank you, Not Fisher, for your uh, compliment. And rook eight seven h four. It was really bad because a lot of things incoming. I yeah, I, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming that there I have a very bad uh, position. Wouldn't be surprising at all to me if it's made. 
D3, I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm trying to play this uh, opening line that Silecki has made a course on, the, the uh, uh, Dirty Harry, but everybody is uh, deviating all the time, so I don't get the chance to play this beautiful move H5, so I'm just, uh, well, I'm just going to keep trying, I think. But just a heads up, that that's the, that's the line I'm going for, so maybe you actually knowing that you may even want to play uh, the move. Um, bishop g5. Um, I'll go h. I'll go f6. Bit, bit ugly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And now I'm gonna go. It's really ugly what I did. Not liking it at all, but I'm gonna go d6 here. And I'm once again, we had such games before in this uh, in this banter. I want to go G5, F5, try and uh, attack a bit on that wing. Have to make sure, of course, that nothing's happening on the other side. Yeah, this this move we've also seen before. I want to stop B4 from happening. Uh, yeah, and now it's our time. And our time means we'll play the move h6. <laughs> and maybe maybe uh, go f5 at some point. First, let's let's improve the position as much as we can. And then at some point, we'll go f5. Yeah, do we do it already? Yeah, OK. If, if we must. Actually, I don't need to yet. I don't need to yet. I don't need to. Because f4 is not a threat. I will take, and I'll go g5. And that will cost the piece. Yeah, but now we have to. Okay, now at least we do it with tempo. And having um, improved our position to the maximum. Still not sure if we're doing so great here, but uh, probably also shouldn't be so bad. Um, I'm going to exchange this bishop because it's usually a lousy bishop anyway. And then... Um, I have this nice long-term plan of, uh, well, this is actually pretty short-term. I'm going to try and pick up the d5 pawn. <laughs> we should be seven next, queen g8. Yeah, um, I'll take it simply, I think. Let me, let me actually take a second here. Mm. Yeah, I'll go bishop b7. You can take on d4. I'll take with the c pawn. And d5 is going to fall. And that's a huge pawn to have. Not only uh, will it fall, it will also open up the uh, the long diagonal, which is a real disaster for uh, for white. And I'll go rook g6 next. It's, uh, now it's rook g3 is already a threat. When uh, all the pieces are nice and lined up, then usually tactics, they, they come up. That's a rule. I actually don't see a good way to meet rook g3. I mean, you don't really want to go g4. Queen e1 is not really a move. Yeah, it's just going to happen. Yeah, that was the. That was that. Um, not sure. Okay, yeah, he's uh, he's resigning. Okay, thanks for the game. Um, yeah, what to say? Um, yeah, once that d5 pawn uh, fell. Uh, things went uh, went pretty fast. Okay, uh, J. Matias, twenty seven sixty six. Wow. Okay. E four. Um, what do I do? Should I stick to my Karokan? Let's stick to Karokan. D five. Here is what he prepared. Ah, he's uh, the solid type. The exchange variation. I'll meet it uh, the way I uh, prescribed in the course. It's always a dangerous moment for me, this one. Because um, the moment I, uh, I forget something now, then my course will look bad. So the pressure is on. Um, for instance, right now, a take take and taking on b7. What is it again? I think it's rook b8 and rook b6. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure it's all fine. Yeah. But these kind of things already scare me. I already forget. 
yeah, this move is fine. And now I'll go 97. With the idea of going bishop f5 and uh, exchanging bishops. At least my opponents are thinking that's a, that's a plus. Queen c2, okay. Um, I think I'll go b5. Not sure I covered queen c2 in my course. But that's the thing. Good thing about this kind of openings, they are so solid. You can just make normal moves. It's not like we'll immediately be lost the moment we're out of book here. So yeah, this move 97 is kind of uh, rare, but I, I like it uh, like it a lot. So for those of you who haven't bought the course, I've just given you a free taster of one of the main lines. Um, this, I think, is simply good for me now because, uh, well, my d4 is huge. Um, so that's... But I wanted to say in general, it's already it was already good for... Uh, for uh, black because white doesn't hasn't uh, done anything on the king side yet. Usually you have to go f4, g4, start attacking to sort of uh, justify this rook a e1 move. Uh, but here black is just a big pawn uh, up, and I had already my play going on the king side, so wasn't too worried about all of this. Yeah, of course we'll still have to convert it, but. Um, Shouldn't be a big problem, I believe. I'll take on b4. And I'll go knight e4. He'll probably stick a knight on c5. I'll take, take that. And I will prepare for a uh, the next knight to be traded. Because the knight on c5 is very strong. So now I'll go knight d6 and maybe even knight e4 or knight b7 after that. Because I think that's a very strong piece. I just want it off, off the board, basically. If he takes on a8, I'll take back with the rook. And if, yeah, but now already the sense of urgency is a bit gone. I mean, I don't really need to uh, uh, remove the knight from a c5 anymore because that knight is a nice piece, but it's actually only a nice piece because there were many pieces on the board, not because. Uh, I mean, it's just sitting on g5 is not such a big deal. Uh, how do I continue here, though? I have to find a good way to do it. Uh, I'll go g5. Bit mysterious move, by the way, g5. That wasn't needed at all, but yeah, it takes. Yeah, I should just be technically winning here still, but uh, I really dislike my move. Uh, I move uh, g5. That was really weird what I did there. Okay. Um, having said that, I can now go check, I think. I think I can just take here. Yeah. This is okay. But I mean, queen e2 wasn't forced uh, at all. He could have started with some other move, and g5 was just a bit weakening. No, no idea why I made that one. Uh, yeah, now I think it's just over, uh, to be honest. I can take here. Can I take on b4? Bit greedy. I like greedy. If hg, um, I, th I think I can even take the knight. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can take the knight. And if he removes the knight, I'll take on h4 with check. And that will be pawn number four. Yeah, he resigns. OK, thank you. Uh, yeah, it was a bit. Uh, I think the opening just didn't go uh, his way. Uh, let me see. Defensive threat. Uh, I'll play e4 again. I haven't played d4 at all, I think. Yeah, never change a winning tactic. G6, oh, scary, the dragon. Thing. Ah, thank you, uh, Matthias. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I'll go f4. Oh, he really knows his stuff. I didn't expect that. I didn't hope that, rather. 
After BC, I'm going to go E5. Yeah, I think it is uh, 97 here, the theoretical move. I mean, if you can speak of it, I mean, this is so rare. But this is not so good, I think, because I think now the end game could be a little bit unpleasant. I'm actually quite certain that it's unpleasant. I mean, uh, king on d8, a bit uncomfortable. After knight d5, I will take. I'll go bishop g5 and cast the queen side uh, quickly. Put some pressure. Yeah, I think knight d7 was the move. And then after taking on d6, take back with the pawn. And uh, that way you keep your pawn structure uh, intact. This, this is definitely not. Uh, if knight d7, I'll go bishop f4 here. And he's really taking his time. Knight g4. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll go bishop f4. If bishop g7, I want to go on castle. And I have a tricky move, knight b5, I think. Oh, that's what I'm hoping for, at least. Let's do it. If CB, I can take, and that's the end of it, actually. It's either mate on d8, or if he puts the bishop in between, I'll take the bishop and the knight on g4, and yeah, that's it. Even in the end game, it's possible to attack. I don't know if that's a lesson to take from this, but yeah, I don't really see the, the move here. While he's thinking any... Uh... Okay, okay, thanks, uh, G. Marianne, for checking that game, uh, uh, this rook takes e7 uh, move. Okay, that felt very dangerous, rook e7, knight e4 check, but maybe, so it, I'm just winning after king h5, apparently. Okay, interesting, uh, interesting to, uh, to note. Yeah, in this game, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, defensive uh, Fred, that uh, got out of hand uh, uh, quickly. I think we have time for a couple more, so let's just, uh, let's just do so. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go d4 for a change. I think I uh, I'm allowed to go. Actually, d4 is my number one uh, move. And the fact my opponent hasn't hasn't moved yet gave me the moment to hydrate a little bit, which is important. Yeah, it looks like my opponent isn't uh, isn't around. That's a pity. I will abort this game, and um, that's okay. We will. Uh, there were other people lining up as well. So I'm. Why must I lose to this box? Okay. Oh, are we all? Uh, maybe we all left. It looks like, no, it looks like again, I have to abort. This is uh, unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Let me see. Uh, G mother, okay. Oh, now we really have a challenge incoming. Okay, 29, 19. If he's there, of course. He is there. Okay, we have a challenge on our hands here. Uh, I'll play C5. And I six. And again, I don't get to play uh, the dirty Harry move by uh, by Selecki. Um, what is this actually? Uh, I've never seen this. I'm not winning a pawn here. Oh, I'm falling for something. Am I not? Queen c seven, knight b five, queen d eight, knight d six takes takes, queen d eight. I have a feeling I'm falling for something. Okay, just let it happen. I'm just going to let it happen. Yeah, I'm falling for something. I know it. Knight d6 takes, takes. What's the trick? King d8. Oh, first d4. That's why it's winning. Okay, I'm just going to let it happen. I see. 
Um, should probably have been aware of this uh, line. But yeah, you can be aware of it all. I'll go G5. Try to funk it up a little bit. Ninety six may already be winning here, but I think I can take no, I can take and bishop e seven. So it's not winning. I'm expecting bishop g three and I'll go bishop g seven. Oh he goes there. Why is this winning? At all even? Bishop g3 he wants to go, yeah? Wow. Amazing concept. Or maybe not so amazing, maybe it's normal, but uh, very pretty. Bishop g3, and if I go f5, knight takes g5. And if I immediately he takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has a very suspicious feel to it, to use an understatement. Uh, I'll go rook g8. I think I'll just have to play fast here. That is, uh, I think, the big recipe here. If queen takes g4, I might be able to take on d6. I just might. Or be, actually, I can take on g5 and on d6. Yeah, it's not yet lost. Let's not despair yet. In, yeah, I'm not going to despair yet, basically. That's... Uh, can I go to e5? Bishop takes, I'll go knight takes simply, I think. Because rook g5, he has bishop f6. And that looks bad. Yeah, okay, this I saw, and I was hoping for knight d3 check. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Yeah, and now I'm fighting. Definitely fighting. Um, I'll go rook g6 maybe. What a complicated game. Whew. One day, uh, or one game I should say, it's just nicely rolling and then it's suddenly this type of game. d5 is a huge threat though, right now, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, d5, and after knight c5, to go b6. Yeah, I'm just going to do it, I think. b6, and now the knight cannot go anywhere because rook e6 would come. So I may just be winning here. I may just be winning here. Right? Knight moves rookie six is a win. Yeah, so he gives the piece, but that's just not enough. No, this is not enough. I'm, I'm not buying it. I mean, it's going to get dangerous, that is for sure, but I'm not buying it. Um, let's start with rook d6, maybe. What was rook d6? That was a very weird move of mine. Okay. Now it's definitely getting uh, interesting. I'll go here. Whew, it's definitely getting interesting now. Um, I'll take it. Whew, I can't talk anymore. I hope he's slow because I am. Oh, yeah, one. Wow, wow, wow. Whew, I have to. Uh, 
that really uh, took some effort. I hope it's appreciated because that really took some effort. Oh, um, yeah, next up, John Emmanuel, D4. Uh, I'm going to go negative six. I'm sorry, I need to cool down a bit from, from this one. That was so complicated. So we'll play a little London just to cool down a little bit. A little London system. I'll go e6 and I'll go bishop d6 next. Uh, knight c3. Okay, I'm not gonna. What a game that was. That was clearly a tough opponent. Um, what do we do here? I'll just castle, I think. It's always a bit tricky to castle in these kind of positions when white still has a king on e1. Because my opponent can now, of course, decide to. Uh, to either castle queenside or to not castle at all. And that, that could be very tricky, but uh, I think it's okay here. I'm not too worried yet. I don't even want to take on f4 because I think ef is something that white wants or at least doesn't mind. Knight e5, normal, very normal. Um, I would like to go c5, but there's knight takes f7. So I'm going to go queen e7 to prepare for c5. Yeah, now he could do something like g4, for for instance. Or queen f3, same uh, same idea, actually. Just to play against my uh, my king. Yeah, I'm not sure I did this in the best uh, way. These kind of positions, they could uh, be quite tricky. But uh, for now, okay, I have some play in the center as well. Uh, knight b5, I'll go bishop b8. Oh, he takes, but that loses a piece. Yeah, that's a pity, of course, when such things happen. Yeah, that's a pity. He was, of course, thinking automatically that I would uh, just take back on c5. But, uh, yeah. That is just uh, unfortunate. Yeah, no, uh, GM, uh, or GM Arian, I mean, you were playing a great game, I think. No, definitely. Uh, the opening, I had no idea what was going on there. After knight b5, knight d6, I have no idea what, uh, but it felt so dubious uh, for, for me. Uh, I was happy to find there some resources and, uh, okay, in time trouble, anything can, uh, can... It was a fun game. It was definitely the most fun game, I think, uh, we had this uh, this session here. Definitely felt like you were winning. Uh, go bishop d7. Yeah, of course, um, I read here a comment by uh, uh, Cthulhu. Emotions running high. They were definitely running high. No doubt about that. But emotions are not running that high anymore in this position where I'm simply a piece up for uh, nothing much. I would just now... Uh, start trading down a little bit and uh, yeah i'm afraid there isn't much else to say here i'm expecting him to trade on c4 i'll take with the queen um yeah that's 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 about it doesn't really want yeah he resigned okay that is uh, that is fine uh i earned the streak i earned the streak or how, how i earned, uh, i earned a batch for a 15 ga 50 games win streak. Wow. Didn't realize. Let's try to make it 51 then. I'll go e4. I by the way have no idea until we are um until we're going. So I think at some point somebody will will just stop me. Um yeah. ah actually I just heard uh, this this will be the last one and actually my opponent ah he is here okay then let's try to make it interesting uh, I'll go f4 again, King's Gambit. d5, such a popular move against King's Gambit. Everybody's going d5 against me. Queen d5, okay. This is rare and shouldn't be so good because now I can develop with tempo. Yeah, so this is the last game already. I hope you uh, you enjoyed it. I had a very good time. I had a very nice time. I'll go d4 here, yeah, this is already, 
I mean, to say that I'm winning is maybe too strong. Well, I don't know, actually, because the the development advantage is now so great. I mean, I'll I'll go bishop four with tempo, then I'll castle with... Uh, and I'll... Yeah, he has all his pieces on the back. Actually, literally all his pieces on the back rank. So it's already a winning uh, position uh, at this point, I believe. It's a matter of technique, as they say. Still, though, have to be, of course, precise. I'll start with knight g3. Maybe bring the knight to f5. That's a good square for the knight, generally. Rook g8, and yeah, now I'll just pin the bishop on a7. And it's already, uh, yeah, I think I'll just go d5. I think that's the end of it, in fact. Because, um, well, there's simply no move. Yeah, if knight takes. I'll take with the knight. Again, attacking e7. Yeah, this is one of those games that uh, went downhill fast. Yeah, when you're facing the king's gambit, uh, I would... Uh, <laughs> it's not a joke. I'm not plugging Jan's course again, but actually his recommendation is very good. You just take on f4, and uh, after knight f3, to go just knight f6. It's, it's a very easy system to learn. And... Um, I would definitely recommend uh, you to uh, to play that way. Thank you. It was uh, it was a pleasure. Um, that was the Bento Blitz uh, for me. I'll hope to see you again uh, uh, very soon. And yeah, I mean, I hope for some more opposition next time because I want to be beaten as well at some point, of course. So uh, thank you, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>